the At The Races Gold Cup. Five to one, number four, Ebony Light, and eight, Fazgo. Six to one, number five, Lucky Bay. Seven to one, number one, Bounce Back, and number 10, Kings Mistral. Eight to one, Cool Investment. Nine to one, Midnight Gunner, and 12 to one, Bar. Okay, marathon chase. Midnight Gunner and the tribal dancer in the red jacket amongst the leaders. Ebony Light's on the left in the noseband as they jump the first fence, right up with the pace, all safely over the Robbo on the outside, on the extreme right uh, is the tail ender in these early stages. He, he wasn't too clean at the first. The second is an open ditch. Tribal dancer Ebony Light and Midnight Gunner, followed closely then by uh, cool investment in an orange jacket. Over on the inside in green is Lucky Bay. Out wide is River Bug of Fazgo and then Carberry Cross and Sudden Shock, the two stable mates together. Kings Mistral, Dion Reed, and then bounce back one from last in the pink jacket under Tony McCoy. And finally, Robbo bidding to continue. A good day for Mary Reevely, Robbo, who Jim dubbed the canny granny. The canny granny indeed. Anyway, they turn right-handed and start on their first circuit. And Ebony Light from Tribal Dancer. In third is River Bug. And then fourth on the inner is Call Investment, Midnight Gunner. And Lucky Bay. Carberry Cross midfield with Sudden Shock. And then Faz go out wide, Kings Mistral and Dion Re, And then bounce back as they take the downhill fence. And all land safely. Robbo still at the back. And about to turn into the back straight and uh, Ebony Light on the inside of Tribal Dancer. Ebony Light uh, for Ginger McCain. Good to see Ginger having one or two good chases again. Amberley House, of course, doing him proud. Red Rum's trainer really back in business this season with some with a nice team. Ebony Light on the far side of Tribal Dancer they take the next. Midnight Gunner over in third from Call Investment. Uh, a bit of a mistake at the back there by Bounce Back as they approach the next, an open ditch, and Ebony Light a bit pottery into that, and Robbo still jumping slowly in the rear. Halfway down the back straight as they head to the water jump, Ebony Light on the inside of Tribal Dancer. Three lengths away is Midnight Gunner from Paul Investment on the far side. River Bug on the near side, jumping the water, then Kings Mistral and Lucky Bay. Carberry Cross running quite sweetly for him at the moment. And then behind them, Dion Re and uh, Fazgo in the hoop sleeve jacket bounce back as they race to the railway straight over the first of these three fences. Sudden Shock appears to have dropped himself out at this stage. Black and white hoop jacket on the right as they jump the middle of the three down the back. And now one more to take in the back straight. Tribal Dancer joined by Midnight Gunner in the blue and yellow jacket. Then Ebony Light now relegated to third or fourth on the inside as Carberry Cross and the Purple Silks moves forward. Kings Mistral, the core specialist, into fifth then. Ebony Light going off the 9-2 to two favourite here in an open betting race. Uh, after the uh, front uh, four or five, call investment on the inner and the orange jacket of River Bug in yellow sleeves. And then back to Fazgo in a red cap, the green of Lucky Bay on the fence, Bounce Bay, Dion Bree, Sutton Shock pushed along, and finally the recalcitrant Robbo. Heading to the pond fence, well over a circuit to go, they've nearly completed the lap of the track. The tribal dancer has made most of the running so far, and Alan O'Keefe jumps this with a three-length lead over Carberry Cross and Midnight Gunner. And then Ebony Lycan -like on the fence, from Kings Mistral. After Kings Mistral then call investment as they straighten up to the next main fence once again. And head uh, up the straight. Lucky Bay a bit slow over that. They're getting quite well strung out some of these as they go back towards the open ditch, the outside section of this double fence. They'll take the inside fence on the final circuit. Great big jump over that by Ebony Light on the inside. And they're all still standing with a circuit to go, bounce back under Tony McCoy and at the race's Gold Cup winner is some way off the pace at the moment, just beginning to improve there. He's not going too badly, the top weight, as they pass the judge with a circuit to go. Tribal Dancer from Carberry Cross, Ebony Light is third, Kings Mistral, and uh, in front of the stand, Sudden Shock is being pulled up. Sudden Shock pulled up and dismounted by Barry Geraghty, but he's had a good enough day.
well. They've got just under a circuit less left to go. John, what do you make of things? Well, they've got a real good, strong gallop, Simon. I'm just amazed that uh, how many horses seem to be struggling. A lot of jockeys sitting still, just hoping the horses are going to come back on the bridle. But uh, they've still got a fair way to go, and uh, Mick Fitzgerald on the favourites in a good position. Yes, Mick Fitzgerald on Ebony Light on the left there, horse of the nose van, just brushing through the top of that fence. Well in touch as they run to the back straight, though, just uh, interfered with slightly by King's Mistral there. Tribal Dancer joined by Carberry Cross. He looks to be having a going day at the moment, Carberry Cross. So they run into the back straight, Ebony Light over on the inside, the far side from this angle, followed through by Call Investment as they take the first down the back, and uh, Lucky Bay made a mistake at that. Bounce back, still just about in touch. Dion Ree losing a bit of ground as they clear another plain one. And uh, up ahead, Kings Mistral and Carberry Cross going towards this open ditch. Kings Mistral, the full specialist, over in front from Carberry Cross. And one down there is Lucky Bay. Lucky Bay is on the deck there. Into Third River Bug now from Midnight Gunner. Then Call Investment and Fazgo as they approach the water jump. And behind Fazgo, a gap of four or five lengths. And a blunder by Call Investment, who unseats the rider, Sam Strong, at that. Second time today, Sam's been on the deck. Unlucky for him. The railway straight again. Kings Mistral and Carberry Cross. Kings Mistral, much the better jump. River Bug was over in third, followed by Midnight Gunner. And then Fazgo, bounce back, is into sixth place, but work to do under McCoy. And they're clear of the others. Ebony Light having dropped right away over the last and the far side. It's Kings Mistral who's got a useful lead now over Carberry Cross. Uh, Fazgo moves into third and then Midnight Gunner as they swing right-handed out of the back straight. Uh, bounce back is trying to run on behind these with the one-pace river bug and looking back, uh, Ebony Light is uh, well tailed off, so too Tribal Dancer and they'll need a search party to find Robbo as they run back towards home and heading to the pond fence and it's Kings Mistrail looking for his fifth win at Sandown but Fazgo is now the challenge under Ruby Walsh, looking for his third winner of the afternoon on the right in the hoop sleeves, followed by Carberry Cross in third, and Bounce Back is still staying on in fourth. Over three out the pond fence, and it's still Kings Mistral in front from Fazgo's now driven along. And Kings Mistral, this 10 year old Richard Johnson in the saddle, he's still powering away. Fazgo, though, shaken up in second, over two out, not too much to choose between the two, and they're putting right away Kings Mistral and Fazgo. They race towards the final fence. Great finish to end the day and the crowd cheering them on. Kings Mistral and Fazgo at the last. Kings Mistral, brilliant jump. Fazgo's trying hard, but he's hanging left now on the flat. Kings Mistral on the far side. Fazgo with three legs to make up. Less than 100 yards to go. Kings Mistral up his favourite hill. Kings Mistral wins again at Sandown. Fazgo in second. They're a long way clear. A bounce back who ran on for third. Carberry Cross in fourth, then River Bug, Midnight Gunner, and I'm not too sure Robbo has completed. Well, he got round, but in his own good time. Well, Kings Mistral, there's something about Sandown and the chase tracking in particular that does appeal to certain.